2022. Nigga, it's Vlogmas 2022. Look. Hey, hey. Wait, look, look. What does this one do? What's this? Mm hmm. Press. What does this do? Mm hmm. <sighs> Coming home or back to work to a gas guzzler. Look at that. I'm living on the edge. I done parked on top of a sewer grate. So if you have a E53 X5, I'm not sure what else, but an E53 X5 that's going into um, uh, transmission fail safe mode once you're um, at operating temperature or once the transmission heats up after like a half an hour drive or so, um, what you can do to drive it normally is drive it while the transmission fluid is cold. Um, granted the engine oil will also be cold, so that's like really living on the edge. But um, yeah, that's what I do. I get home safely and then right when it starts to slip, I just um, manually change the gear to third and then I manually change between three, four, five and then back down to three. And yeah, I don't let it go down to two or one to where it's slipping. Um, I'm going to let my mechanic know like that's what's going on. I'm also gonna post on the forum because I'm gonna see if that is the um, solenoid and if it's the solenoids then that should be not too crazy of a fix but um yeah that'll probably cost me like six hundred dollars parts and labor um and, if, and then if that makes the car drive perfectly fine then that means i could like sell this thing for i would list it for like sixty five hundred but yeah um, I do plan, well, no, 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 not that I do plan on doing that, but, um, I, everything has a price and I am not like emotionally attached to anything because I could always just get these things again. Well, something like this, but we're not talking about like the skyline or anything. Cause that was actually a very dumb mistake, but, um, yeah, we're not talking about something like the skyline that will be hard for me to get or far more expensive for me to get into now unless the market crashes, which I hope it does because I do want one and I do not want to pay market price for one. But yeah, um, what, what was I even saying? But yeah, 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 so um, I will be listing this car. I'll probably even list it at 8,000 just because. Like I've been seeing people list some of them with like, oil leaks and stuff like that like the one i forget where it was leaking from but like i saw one listed for nine thousand ninety two fifty and it had a fix that you need to um drop the transmission and stuff like that to get to or take the engine out which again you basically have to unhook it from the transmission and everything and take the whole engine out but regardless it's a big fix and it was listed for ninety two fifty, and people were still like messaging like interested 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 granted i'm pretty sure it's not going to sell for that much but just the simple fact that people are interested in it and people have been like non-stop talking like yo if you ever sell that thing let me know blah 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 so um yeah that's what i'm gonna do list it and see what people say because you know if somebody says oh i got uh 7500 for you then this shit's fucking gone but um yeah i have a couple things in the works per usual and uh i guess we'll just see but for now i'm on my way home from work and uh yeah so right now i manually shifted to third and that's more than likely what i'm going to stay in to get home but i can boom go up to fourth and that's how you drive when your transmission is about to go into fail safe mode Yeah, it's like 
simple things, you get me? And then, you know, for fun, you can downshift. Here's some burbles. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the burbling over the wind noise, but you know, you can drive this car anywhere. So yeah, I technically don't have to fix it, but I will just because I want it to be nice and in a condition where if I were to get rid of it, I can get top dollar for it with minimum expenses. Is I am only $1,500 into it so far. So it's not bad at all. And granted, we are in a downhill position, but as you can see, we're at a full stop and still in third, so it's perfectly fine. Um, I'll get back to you guys in a second once we start moving, and I'll show you like how it engages. Boom. So this is just letting it roll. So as you guys could see, like it can roll and everything like that. And third gear is a decent starting gear for this transmission. So it's not like um, when it actually goes into fail safe mode and uses fourth and fifth that gets a car to struggle that makes a car struggle to get off the line third there is a bit of hesitation because again it's third gear but it's not as bad as being in fourth because again it's a lower gear so it's easier for the car to engage and get rolling so you know making it work i recorded a couple more clips but I was super dirty from work and I touched the camera so they all got messed up but um anyhow what I did didn't work anyway because I wasn't able to get any conclusive um information from the scanner so I'm most likely going to have to send it to John or somebody to um test it out and see what exactly is wrong I am hoping it's a solenoid or something cheap and easy to do because I would love to only spend like six seven hundred dollars maybe eight hundred dollars to fix this thing and then go from there but um yeah so uh, anyhow as you guys can see i've been driving the car to and from work um that's about it i am going to be switching jobs yet again because this one isn't it, and this one is just temporary until I find something that's like better and something that I actually want to do. Like, granted, I'm great at driving, great at driving these big trucks and everything like that. I've done it quite a long time, but I don't care for it. I actually do kind of like security, so I'm going to be looking into getting like a better security job or uh, being like a private investigator, some sort of law enforcement, anything like that. So, um, yeah. Uh,. I also am going working on getting a project, so um, I'm actually going to see if the rain has stopped, and I'm going to go see if I can switch the uh, pedal for the uh, CL63, because I do want to get that thing um, done and uh, sold, so yeah, I'm going to be getting the new project regardless of when that thing sells, but I'm trying to get the project like within like the next month, so um <clears throat> if i can probably like within three weeks i'll go a range to pick that thing up and then we'll go from there um there's also another car that i want to pick up i'm still persistent on putting letters on that thing like at least twice a month but um hopefully that guy bites and sells me that car but um you know same old things uh what i may do is like transition into like something more career oriented or like make a second channel for the more career oriented things like what i end up doing with this whole like security and tactical training thing um i may end up like traveling down south and going down there for a little while most likely texas and um see if i could go link up with like uh ghg chris tv rambo j life of old b all them people like because i want to actually be proficient and become a better shooter and everything like that so um not only that but like i want to be more familiar and get more so into like the 2a community and everything like that as well as this car stuff so i may end up making a second channel for the more like 2a content 
And if you guys are interested in that, I'll do that. Or I'm going to do it anyway, and the people who are interested are, are going to be interested, and they're going to fuck with it anyway. But, um, yeah, so that's basically what I plan to do, because um, I do have another channel. I believe I put up a video already. If not, I'm slacking, but I think I did. And I do have, like, a couple more videos that I already recorded and edited and didn't upload yet, because, again, I'm slacking. But, um, yeah, the work, like, I'm just super tired. Haven't really been doing anything. It's been like 11 to 13 hour days. So, yeah. And the pay is not even... Like, my security job, I make way more money. And I do basically nothing. So, yeah. Basically nothing in comparison. Because my truck driving job is lifting... Or not lifting, but moving 300 plus pound furniture. And driving hundreds of miles a day. Not too fun. Especially for the pay. That's the biggest problem, like, I've done this type of work before, or I've done less work for the same pay, so the fact that, yeah, anyhow, um, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and you already know, drink water, motherfuckers.